Hi there, Star Wars Collectors, and welcome to another Boss Bounty video, and welcome to episode 127 of Ask Boss Bounty. This is the weekly Q&A series that drops every Sunday, where I take your questions from the comment section below and answer them as best as I can. So if you do have a question for next week's episode, episode 128, then please leave them in the comment section below and hopefully you'll be featured next week. I do have one thing to show you before we do get onto this week's questions. So if you do happen to enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like down below because that does really help the video and the channel. All right then, so first up, if you do follow me on Instagram, you possibly may have seen this already, but I just wanted to show you guys just to let you know what I managed to pick up as like a display piece. So this is my Bosk mailer. Now, this is a vintage Bosk mailer, and I want to say a big shout out to Red Five Designs Gianni because he actually sent me this little catalog here um, so I could complete the set. So I had the mailer, I had the Bosk in the baggie, and I had the little flyer that came inside, but I was missing the catalog. And he kindly sent me that, which allowed me to then order this case from GW Acrylics. Now, GW Acrylics do all sorts of cases for all sorts of different things, and I could have got this graded instead, but I preferred the way this displays it. So Happy to have this, so thank you so much for that Gianni. But what I wanted to show you very, very briefly is what came with that. So I ordered that one case. I did not know this thing was gonna be coming with it, but I was sent this as well. Now this is another type of case, and this is gonna be apparently for the deluxe vintage collection sets. So whether you're a fan of these or not, um, obviously we know the whole plastic packaging thing is changing potentially next year. Um, I don't think the standard line of figures are gonna be like this. This is this is the deluxe figures, and I think the deluxe figures are here to stay. I think we'll be getting more deluxe figures. So if you're an inbox collector and you quite like this version, you know, with the artwork on the front and everything, picture of the figure, and you're an inbox collector, then there are options to case them up. So let me just show you very, very quickly. All right, so there you go. We've got the Boba Fett Tatooine deluxe figure in an acrylic case and I've got to say you know whenever you put anything in acrylic or star cases I always think it looks better anyway but um, if you wanted to case these up I believe he's going to be getting a bunch of these soon and they'll be available on his website I'll leave a link in the description below but just my opinion about it in terms of the quality it fits absolutely perfectly it has the lip at the top which holds the card straight and instead of a lip at the side allowing you to slide the card underneath it has these pieces of plastic inside which really keeps the box snug and of course it has the slide bottom to it as well to keep it really secure it's not going to move around in there or anything and i think it looks pretty cool okay not everybody is a massive fan of these but if you're going to collect them in box and you don't want to go for a star case or one of those cheaper plastic fold out things then maybe this is more of a high quality option anyway i'll leave the link in the description below for you to check them out if you want but I'm gonna keep that one like this, I think. That looks pretty cool. Rock City Seth, who is a new Patreon supporter of the channel, so thank you so much, says he says, Tim, I could watch your content forever. My question is, do you think Shay Vizsla will be a re-release of her old TVC number or assigned a new one to coincide with the gaming greats packaging? Keep up the awesome work. Yeah, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Because obviously they have changed the head, but I think because it is on the same card back, so it's quite different to the 501st where they've actually changed the card back and given him a new number. I think because this is pretty much the same figure on that same card back with just a new head, I would imagine that they'll keep the same number. But thanks for the question, my friend. Jacob Smith says, my question for next week's Boss Bounty is, do you think we'll ever have an Ewok battle pack? So I think this is incredibly likely that we'll have a battle pack in the style of, you know, one of these, these four packs that they do. But I think if we ever do get one of those, it'll have to be next year for the 40th anniversary of the Return of the Jedi. I can imagine them releasing maybe two or even possibly three of these types of sets next year and Ewoks for me is a likely one I would guess I mean we've got plenty of other Ewoks and they could just repaint them couldn't they and and give us some different ones to the ones that we've already got like Luma and Low Grey we've already got those give us some new ones from the background that would be that would be pretty cool 521 DOS says hey BB I've been wanting to pick up certain figures such as the Death Watch Mandalorian Fennec Shand and Ahsoka most of the figures are still displayed as pre-orders but I'm seeing others getting their hands on the figures are the figures really on pre-order and the others have managed to get them early or are the pre-order dates incorrect? So in general, I would, in this day and age, ignore pre-order dates or not pre-order dates, shipping dates. I think they put them way out in the future to cover themselves, basically. And I know for a fact that Entertainment Earth have been shipping these guys here. A few of my friends in the States 
have managed to pick up these, but they say on their site that it's June shipping. So maybe they've shipped out all of the stock that they've had and they're getting some more. I don't know, but if you did want to order them from EE, I will provide a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so I get a tiny weenie commission, so it does help the channel. But if you want to order them from EE and take the chance that they have got them in stock and they'll send them out straight away, then all the better. Straight out of Coruscant says, question for next week, what are you doing for May the 4th? So unfortunately, I will be working on May the 4th and in the evening, I will probably be doing some content for the channel because it is May the 4th. At the weekend, my son and I went to a Star Wars day at a local retro toy store and they had like some cosplayers in there and stuff like that. So I guess that's kind of May the 4th weekend, isn't it? But yeah, May the 4th midweek, so there's not a lot I can do apart from work. But I think Hasbro might be sending out those promo packs to fan sites and things like that. So if I do get one of those, I'll be featuring it on the channel and hopefully in that box, there'll be some stuff to give away to you guys because I always like sharing the stuff that this channel receives with you guys. You know, some of it might be as a giveaway to my Patreon supporters and channel members and another giveaway perhaps to the people that just watch the videos. But I always like to share the stuff. So hopefully that'll be a good video on May the 4th. Alex Church says, question for next week, boss. Do you think we could be getting an up-to-date Django Fett in the Vintage Collection anytime soon? Perhaps a repack of the last one given in the Vintage Collection with the updated helmet we've been seeing with the Death Watch Mandalorian Boba Fett Return of the Jedi figure as a removable helmet. Keep up the great work. Thanks. So uh, yeah, here it is. This is the original Django Fett. Let's see what number he was. 30 something wasn't he yeah vc34 so i think that this one will never be re-released now because if there was ever going to be a year where they re-released Django fett it would be on the 20th anniversary of attack of the clones wouldn't it all those reissues they've been doing for a couple of years now this would have been a prime candidate for this year but i don't think this figure is good enough anymore especially with the likes of this death watch mandalorian around if you were to get this figure now you would be seriously disappointed so that's probably why they haven't re-released that figure and hopefully, hopefully sometime in the near future they can, you know, give this guy this treatment. All the articulation that this guy's got on this figure would be awesome. So fingers crossed for that, but yeah, I don't think they're ever going to re-release that particular Django Fett there. Pesto Pizza 2001 says, Hello Boss Bounty, do you re-buy TVC figures if they arrive with a sloppy paint application? And if so, this is the main thing I'm dreading about Hasbro losing the plastic bubbles as a loose collector myself. So yeah, unfortunately, I've always bought maybe two or three of the same figure. So essentially you get one to be carded, one for loose, and then one as a backup. One as a backup for if either one of two things, whether the card's damaged or if your figure that you're opening has got a bad paint application. So it's not good having to do that. And it'll probably be even worse when the, you can't see the figure, whether that be on the pegs or buying them from an online retailer. I think the problem is a big problem and they really need to think about it. Patreon supporter Mighty Makoko says, Hey boss, great videos always. Question for next week. Do you think we could get a retro collection wave of Clone Wars inspired characters? Also, do you think when we get Cad Bane, he'll be from the Clone Wars or the Mandalorian? And also, do you think they'll ever do a Shock Trooper reissue? We could get him with a new image on a Bad Batch card back. Thanks. All right, so three questions in one here. So Clone Wars retro collection, very quickly, I doubt that they would do that. I think it's not current enough now and they'll be concentrating retro collection on new media and return of the jedi cad bane i think they'll do it from the mandalorian with the uh, photo reel and the shock trooper that is a great question will they ever re-release this one on a bad batch card i don't think they would ever use this figure on a bad batch card because they are slightly different aren't they the one in the bad batch has an awesome red pauldron on and in fact the black series version of that figure is is awesome i'm insanely jealous of it and you know, I've, I've said before that I would rather them sort of stop using this mold. And I made a video just yesterday about how to get or the only way that you can get a clean standard phase two clone trooper is in this set. So check out that video if you want to see, see that. But yeah, I think if they're ever to do a bad batch version of the shock trooper, at the very least, they'll have to give him the red pauldron. James Wheatley says, hey boss, question for next week. If there was a fire and you could only save one item, what would it be? Keep up the good work. I think I've had this question before, but I'm going to answer it again because it's probably been a while, but it would be my childhood Millennium Falcon, uh, the vintage one. Uh, my brother gave me that when I was little and it means a great deal to me. Uh, if, if that didn't exist, I'd probably have to go for something that's valuable in my collection, like my um, vintage collection Canadian Yoda, perhaps. I'd probably have to save that. The Sentinel says, Bosk, what are the chances of Hasbro resurrecting comic book two packs? And also, when they bring out the Attack of the Clones Anakin into the vintage collection, do you think 
it'll be a straight repack of the black series or will they update it with more articulation and paint etc well the second part of your question there you won't actually have to wait too long to see that figure i've got a strong feeling they're going to be revealing or showing it on this week's live stream the hasbro star wars live stream they're going to be showing it on there so as far as i know i think they said that it's going to have a new cloak because the previous figure didn't come with a cloak hopefully they update the face a little bit with uh, photo reel which i'm sure they will but in terms of articulation and everything it's exactly the same figure but it doesn't matter because that figure's got all the articulation you need anyway it's even got rocker ankles so that's cool uh, your first question there two packs i honestly can't see it i think they've got enough on their plate with other stuff going on in the vintage collection and uh you know those big plastic bubbles for comic packs i can't see it happening a couple of questions about the retro collection here and zil 1543 says question for next week what do you think the retro collection board game figure for the return of the jedi will be we got Tarkin and Luke's Snowspeeder for the previous waves. I'm guessing Mon Mothma. That is a good shout, but I would just say that, you know, not every time we get a board game in the second wave of the Mandalorian figures, the Monopoly did not come with another figure that was like exclusive to that. It's only happened the first three times. So maybe that's an indication that it's not going to happen again. Maybe they've run out of board games. I, I, I do not know. But it is my hope that, you know, at some point we will get um, a figure from Return of the Jedi that has never been made in the Kenner line. That's kind of what I like about the retro collection. So fingers crossed. And the legend that is Gary Moore says, question for next week. With the Return of the Jedi anniversary next year, what seven figures do you think Hasbro will release for the retro collection? I'm eagerly anticipating this run great content as always or oh, seven figures well i always think when i look at that retro collection that they'll go for the main characters they always have to do that so i would be incredibly surprised if we did not have like luke jedi for example if we didn't have the emperor um you need a trooper so hopefully the scout trooper will be in there slave leia being like an exclusive figure you can count out straight away that's never going to happen so yeah there's three i mean i'd love to see uh, an emperor's royal guard to go with the emperor if they brought out the emperor i think he's a he's a great vintage figure on a nice card back maybe a jabber's goon or something it's difficult to pick seven my friend um but yeah i i would be surprised if they if it didn't have jedi luke and the scout trooper and the emperor i would be very surprised if they didn't do those three Gabe's Star Wars Collection says, Dear Ask Boss Bounty, will the plastic-free packaging cause mint on card figures to shoot up in value 20 plus years from now when collectors reminisce on the good old days of plastic bubbles on carded figures? Or will the novelty of inbox collecting fade and drop their value? Thanks. I posed this exact question to the guys that I had on the live stream a week or so ago now because I, I you know it's something i think is important to know about this sort of thing because people have spent a lot of money on these figures haven't they whether it's old ones to fill in their collection or, or what have you i think if you're thinking about 20 years then i think anything will go up in value in 20 years regardless of, of what it is but i don't know I, I i think i'm with the guys i think basically you know the carded figures of especially tvc 1.0 will continue to go up in value because they're never going to re-release them anymore. Like at the moment, we're getting re-releases of Shea Vizsla. We're getting re-releases of Ahsoka, bringing down the value of those original carded figures. That's not going to happen anymore. So your Django Fetts, like I said there, will they ever re-release him? I don't think they will do anyway. But you can bet your bottom dollar that once it's plastic-free packaging, they won't do it like that. So there you go. Shakes the Clone says, question for 127. Do you have any pets? Can we see pictures? Bonus points if wearing Star Wars pet costumes. I don't have the Star Wars pet costumes, unfortunately, but I do own two cats, or at least my daughter does. They're both ginger. I will try and put a photo up. Apart from that, I used to have a dog called George. Uh, he was a boxer dog, and he was like my favorite thing on earth back in the day. And unfortunately, we lost him early when he was only six years old. And it was, and yeah, I haven't got a dog since because I'm just not sure if I can go through that sort of heartbreak again, you know? They are really, truly part of the family. So anyway, he was a great dog. And yeah, so now we've got cats. Eric Martel says, hi, Tim. Again, great content. Question for next week. What are your thoughts about which figure will carry VC188? Well, I think I've talked about this before and I think it will have to be Jesse. If it's not Arc Trooper Jesse, then I think Hasbro have forgotten that VC188 wasn't taken up and it'll just be a hole in the line which will be extremely weird and bad for some people's ocd ryan schultz says hi bb with the anniversary of return of the jedi coming which vehicle would you like released minus the speeder bike cheers yeah because you knew i'd say the speeder bike didn't you if you asked me that question so 
Let's forget about the speeder bikes for the moment. I would like the A-Wing. I think the A-Wing is missing from the line. We've got most of the other vehicles from the original trilogy, the space vehicles anyway, and um, the A-Wing is missing. I think that'd be awesome in a vintage box and maybe, you know, with a pack-in of a brand new A-Wing pilot. We've had some decent ones in the past, but you know, when you're looking at the new Luke X-Wing figure, nothing really compares to that. So an A-Wing version of him would be pretty cool. Walker Tyson says, hi Tim, a question for next week. How do you feel about TVC 13 Anakin Skywalker, AKA Darth Vader from episode three? That's my favorite TVC figure. Keep up the great videos. So how do I feel about it? Well, I've got to be honest, I don't have that figure loose, but when I look at it through the packaging, I really don't think it has the Hayden Christensen likeness. I think there's a much better sort of Anakin's out there. Having said that, it looks decent enough on the package, on the card, really nice card and everything, but yeah. I can't really comment too much because I just don't have the figure loose. Scottman of NE says, question for next week. With all the talk, controversy, and some resistance to change over the plastic-free packaging, what are some of your favorite packaging variations, innovations, or one-off lines of Star Wars figures, other than TVC, of course? I'm a big fan of the Revenge of the Sith packaging in 2005, and even the color scheme and art of the Droids 1985 cards. The Droids cards are fantastic, without a doubt. When I look back at the lines and everything, I quite like the Power of the Jedi line. I love that green. I know it's very similar to the Power of the Force too, but I just think it looks better and the figures, are, the figures are better as well. I also love the Saga collection line with that sort of bigger bubble and you had the movie film out behind the figure and everything. They, they were really cool with the Star Wars logo at the top. Um, there's been some great ones over the years, no doubt. Episode one, I love those card backs as well. John Young says, hey BB, really enjoying the live streams and hearing your discussions on TVZ related news. Question for next week, are there any vehicles from the sequel trilogy era that you'd like to see either in mainline or as a HasLab? Thanks. Well, I've got to be honest that, um, you know, anything from the sequel trilogy for me would, would be at the bottom of the list for the things that I want. There's loads of other things that I would like well before anything from the sequel trilogy but having said that the a-wing as i mentioned before is quite high up on my list so that would be a good one and also quite like the troop transports the first order troop transports i think i had one of those in lego it's a really good set having said that i think i do prefer the troop transports from the mandalorian with the actual stormtroopers that came out of it but there you go there's two for you we got the a-wing and the troop transport from the force awakens all right then guys that's it for this week's episode thank you so much for watching as per usual if you have a question for next week's episode don't forget to leave it in the comment section below and hopefully you'll be featured next week thank you so much to my patreon supporters and channel members your support means a great deal to me as always and also be sure to check out the may the 4th video and hopefully there'll be news of a giveaway so thank you all for watching guys and we shall see you on the next one